Hey guys, welcome to my kitchen. It might be a little messy, but that's okay. I try to clean it as much as I can, you know. Um, but today I'm going to be doing my first cooking video. Ooh. Now, there's one thing you need to know. I'm very messy. I can be clumsy sometimes. I'm not really a chef or anything. I just like to cook good food sometimes. And I, I post it on my snap and on my insta story and you guys always ask me to film a recipe or film how i make it so i think i might just do that every now and then so for my first one i'm going to start off pretty easy we're going to be doing uh, a really easy french vanilla toast recipe also known as pain perdu sucré um, in french um, but i'm so used to eating pain perdu like salty like with ketchup but you can also have it it's normally supposed to be sweet do you know what I mean? But this is more like of an English version. It's got cinnamon and sugar and like vanilla in it. To be honest, I haven't actually tasted a French vanilla toast in France. I'm from there. But um, I need to do that one day. That has to be a mission of mine to actually taste a real one from a restaurant or something. But yeah, today I'm just going to show you how to make an easy one at home. It's really yummy. You probably have all the ingredients at home anyways. So yeah, we're going to jump straight onto it. Okay, so the ingredients that you're going to need are, um, I basically make a big batch because I have so many people to feed in this house. So um, if you want to make a smaller batch, just half everything I'm going to mention. You're going to want four eggs, um, two tablespoons of vanilla essence, half a teaspoon of cinnamon powder, four tablespoons of granulated sugar, a cup of milk, I use whole milk, it's the best. Um, and I've got my bread and then these are just extra bits. So I've got some butterscotch syrup. This is what it looks like. This is so yum, oh my God, I can't wait. And then I've got some raspberries and some strawberries from Tesco. Shall we just jump onto making the mixture then? Right then, you're gonna grab your eggs. We're gonna crack them in the bowl. Am I already being messy? I'm so clumsy when I come when it comes to food, honestly. But this recipe is just so yum, like I can put that aside. Look, look at me putting egg everywhere. So now I'm putting a whole cup of milk in. Which does seem quite a lot. Yeah, I'm gonna keep that and put the rest back in. My mum keeps these nuts in there. I don't even know why. Don't ask me. I don't know why. So I'm gonna put one, two, three, four tablespoons of sugar. This is the cinnamon powder. We're gonna put a half of that. This is the best bit, guys. And we put cinnamon powder. That may or may not have been too much, but that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> and then I'm just going to open this up. Is this defect? Because. Okay, one. Two. I'm gonna grab a fork just to mix and mix it all up, mix it all up, mix it, mix it, mix it all up. I normally have music with me when I'm cooking, so that's it. Silence. So I've got some of my flora butter here. It's actually one of the best butters out there, to be honest. I'm gonna put the fire on. mixing your mixture so there's no lumps yes I know this um, thing is in a state but my mum does not want to throw it so I need to get a new one maybe I should invest in actual good cooking equipment <laughs> Hey, don't you guys act like you ain't got some old, nasty, like, 
pan that you still use because your mum doesn't want to throw it away. I'm going to get some bread. I keep it like medium, low to medium heat. And you want to drip your bread in there. And then put it on there two at a time because with all the bread that I have to make today it's gonna blood take me a whole day to make all of them I'm just dipping them in slightly and just put them there and I'll let them cook put the uh, the hot fire bit high I've just realized now you guys are gonna make fun of me because I've been saying fire the whole time I guess it's you're supposed to say heat the heat on low medium Oh Lord. Oh my God, it smells so nice. You know, because I can see some of the egg yolk, I'm gonna put a little bit more milk in the mixture. So basically, yes, it is, I was supposed to put a cup. Don't know why I'm trying to act all professional, thinking it's too much. So they are almost ready. You want to make sure that they look like this before taking them off. I put some kitchen towel on a plate. One is done. We're gonna put it on like that. That's what it should really look like. You can leave them a bit longer if you want them to be a bit more crispy. Could do that. Just letting that one cook a bit more. So whilst the others are cooking, I am going to show you guys how to prepare it. I mean, I'm not that great with decoration. I try my best, but you know when you just want to cook something quickly? I mean, if you saw yesterday's Instagram, well, the other day I posted this on my Insta story and I put literally put a dollop of Nutella and thought that was presentable. I've just got this nice plate and we're going to put two like this. I'll just grab two. We're going to grab some of our... Actually, let's place the fruit first. So we're gonna place the fruit. Cute. I like a lot of fruit. In case you guys don't know. <laughs> okay, that's a dodgy one. Let's not put that one. Ew. That one's a dodgy one as well, what the hell? I just bought these and they got fluff in them. Tesco man, Tesco, what are you doing? Put them as if they were flowers. And we're gonna grab some of this amazing, amazing butterscotch sauce. Lightly, you don't want too much of this, not too much. Come on, don't fail me now. Oh, oh no. Oh my god, guys, this is gonna be so yum! So that's the finished result, guys. Then it looks so yum. So, so yum. I just don't get you. My belly popping out because I know I'm a fat. I can't even see your belly in it. Okay, I'm going cut a bit of that. We need to get a raspberry and a little bit of, of strawberry so it's all even. It's so good. It literally tastes like you, like you said, it smells like a pancake shop in here. Like it literally tastes like I've been to a shop. I'm so proud of it, guys. Yeah. Do you want to taste it? You taste it. She didn't want any of the fruit or anything with it. Look at the mess though. <laughs> I told you guys I'm messy. This is why I don't do food videos. I can taste it for them. Taking from my plate. Mm. 
Is it good? It's good with the fruit, right? Or did you even taste the fruit? No okay, yeah, you can stop eating from my plate. I don't know if I want to all that now. Isn't it good? Actually, can you call me some strawberries, please? And she wants some strawberries. She said, no, I don't want no fruit. I don't want no buttercups. Just cause the blah, blah, blah. Just one of my five a day. <laughs> you said you didn't want that. You said, uh. What, what are you doing? Don't you taste good at it? Look at this. Alright guys, that's the end of this video. I'm just going to finish off the rest for the others. I hope you guys enjoyed this food video and if you want to see more, definitely give this video a big thumbs up. I really had fun doing this video. My next one will probably be a pasta. You know that butter chicken pasta I always do with spinach? Probably that one. But definitely give this video a thumbs up. It will let me know to do more. Thanks for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye!